I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard, on the ground, and in space. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing. with have icons above their heads. Press the X button hey, to talk with them. Hey, here you are. Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training cruise. Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words. Chief. Engineer. Right? I'm still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. Oh, poor Jim Kirk. Hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. Tactical cadets in your class. Oh, uh, no, after Evelyn. And yourself, of course. There you are! I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? Uh, well, Lieutenant Tassilne has all of the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. Cadets Quan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which, I've heard, is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. Oh, hey. I have been looking for you. Yes! I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it! <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day and told me to give it another shot. So, I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kira took your advice, too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. Well, let me know if I'm right, okay? I think I see Kira over there. Come on. Here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. 
In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position, based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the matter. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. I'll wait out here. Dasilin should be inside. Good afternoon, cadet. How may I be of assistance? It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press the X button to interact with the doorbell to notify Enter. Captain Schaefer of your presence. Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training crews. Ah, uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is... Impressive, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Can to shed some light on that for me? The Federation is at war with Klingon Empire, Cadet. I shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exceptions. I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you on my bridge, once you finish that phaser course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing the results. Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. Indeed. She'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dismissed. I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training crews, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew, deep breath. I'm good. <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Yeah, I was wondering why you wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively with the Klingons and aggression and. I should probably stop telling you about the program now. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Savea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how cranky she gets with people, right? Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. No one was assigned to a Constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. To sprint, press and hold the we left stick hurry or while we'll moving. Spot. Ooh, I hate running. Uh oh. There's Ev. And she's looking. 
impatient. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> Point the business end of the phaser at the enemy, not yourself. Sorry, Captain Schaefer told us both not to give you any help, no matter how nicely you ask. You got through quantum mechanics, you can get through this. It's pretty cutting edge. Tilly and I have been using actual combat data from the field to make it as realistic as possible. You'll have to find the rest out on your own, Captain Schaefer's orders. <laughs> you wish. I'm still mad at you for getting us all blown up in the Kobayashi Maru test. Ramming speed? Really? Don't you worry, this test is gonna do its job. Let's sting a little, though. Yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You get top marks. Kidding! I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. Uh, running is the worst. Press left to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Just go to the center of the room. Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Severe's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. That I do, Cadet. First officer's station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer's spot is still open. Thought you might say that. You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue, onward and upward, throughout your career. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. And... Wow, look at you, first officer! You're gonna do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway, first officer. How does it feel? You know, I love her, but is a little too, um... aggressive. At times. If all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I mean, that's her. She's very much a hammer kind of lady. I'm not saying she can't find her way to the center chair, but... Standing right here, Tilly. Might think about that if you want to make it to senior year. What? I'm kidding. Mostly. She's not wrong, though. We all have jobs to do, and you're gonna do great as the EXO. Proud of you. Seriously? Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure.
Okay. The rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. Time for your big speech. How are you going to play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? That could be good. Hey, make Savea cry like just a single tear. Warrior style. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure. You're going to be great. Cadets, please board your shuttles. Are you ready to head to the ship? I can't believe we're finally doing this. Ooh, 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 look over there. That's the Glen, one of the new Crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her or her capabilities. Well, at Starfleet Academy, anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, Captain Schaefer's pride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proven design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! Sylvia Tilly, acting chief engineer, reporting for duty. Welcome aboard. What's your name, cadet? Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Acting first officer. You're all set. Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there. Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XR. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Dock control has cleared us to depart. Acknowledged. Carry on. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Acknowledged. Carry on. Erez, take us out. One quarter impulse. Clear. 
from Dry Dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp 4. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Incoming transmission. Captain, I'm picking up a distress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. This is the Fortuna! Can you hear me? So, uh, warp core is failing! We could really use some help here! Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA, three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? Afraid not. This is the real deal. Her Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? Cool. There's something about this that's not sitting right with me. Agreed. Yellow alert. Surveyor, bring the shields up. Get down to the transporter room, XO. I want you to oversee the rescue efforts from there. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! John, a shot. Desmond, come in. What happened? Desmond, hold on. We're reading disruptor fire in the transporter room. The Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. All hands, this is the captain. Repel borders. I repeat, repel borders. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. You let us worry about that. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Over here, Exo! We need you to unlock the portal! You have to enter the command codes! Grab a rifle! We need to deal with the Klingons! You need to equip your phaser rifle. To do so, press the options button and select the captain option under the ship and crew heading.
right side of the safety field. Whew. We're going to engineering. Better hurry. There's a lot of them. Security to engineering. We are under attack. Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. So, we've got your back. Press the right stick to crouch. Crouching gives a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. <laughs> they were looking for something here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? Okay. The power relays for our weapons were overloaded. I need you to bring them back online. The power relays for the forward weapons are accessed through two consoles behind me on the upper floor. The relays for the aft weapons can be accessed here at the center console. You good to go? Specialized to your career class are available. Okay, workforce stable. Life support is optimal. Yes. Shipwide comms online. Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. Sheep! 
shields! Prepare for... Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Jaula of House Mokai. Surrender now, Captain. Why are you still able? Request denied. Get off my ship! Get off my ship! If you insist, Captain. Your truth! Klingons. Coming transmission from the Klingons. Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Captain, are you all right? Silence! Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me immediately. Safer. Order your crew to do as I say. XO, follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. <gasps> Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now die like one. What do we do now? We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. So, you're the captain now. We're with you. Let's make his sacrifice count. To sit, press the X button while targeting the chair you wish to sit in.
bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. All decks have reported in. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Working on it, but something's jamming our long-range comms on all frequencies. Still running under cloak. We knocked them around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Damage control teams are assigned. We've put out all the fires and started patching the hull breaches, but it's gonna take a while. We, um, we'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under duress. I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. Quite so, Captain. Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function. At the risk of <laughs> wearing out my welcome, would you be so kind and assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. Press up to increase your ship speed. Press down to decrease your ship speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Coming to a full stop, Captain. Apologies. I'll wait for your command from now on. They need three or four warp induction coils, Tops. We can spare a few. Position yourself near the ships and press X to interact with them. Thanks. Oh, and uh, good luck with the Klingons, my young friend. You'll need it. Can't say I blame them. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. Speaking of Klingons... We have a problem. Most of our plasma injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating, but this damage goes way beyond what would happen in a fight. Pretty sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units, and we can get what we need. Press the R2 button to fire energy weapons. modulating reserves, and those sweet new commerce divers. Gonna need a little time to get these installed. I'd rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of a full system meltdown. And that can happen with dicey injectors. Right. I'm on it, Captain. While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs. And they aren't as safety concerned as we are. We might be back and shooting faster than we'd like. We're on it, Captain. 
I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. Use your torpedoes on enemy when their shields are down and shields have failed. Argument here, I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Oh, yes! I found it! Sending you the data now. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Baka! Your death will be swift! Hold the up button to activate and deactivate full impulse. High yield torpedo will Bring increase the power of your own torpedo Opportunity. It might not be a bad idea to review some of the basic starship combat files. Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of enemies attack us out here. It would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to it. This will divert power from your other shields. Transmission, Captain. It's a Starfleet vessel, the Sabrova. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold, even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, Cadet. Which reminds me, you're on Captain Schaefer's ship. Where is he? Did you follow his orders? I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer. We could use more like him. I take it you're the acting captain then? Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. Not sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the 
meantime, set a course for our position. Sobrova, out. vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. If the Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, Cadet. You have your orders. This... this feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. We've arrived, Captain. I'm reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. 